Hi everyone, I am gonna show you how you can create posts in Meta Business Suite. And you might be wondering where do the posts go? Well, they go to Facebook and Instagram. And why is that? Because Meta Business Suite is pretty much Facebook's business platform. It's the business suite, as you can see over here, where you can manage a lot of your pages, if you have a lot of Facebook pages, or even if you have one. So the good thing about it is, as you can see, you can create a post to go on Facebook and Instagram right away. You can schedule posts out and it's pretty um, sort of intuitive for business, business related functions. So without further ado, let's see, excuse me, how we can actually create a post. And I'll show you the dynamics of doing this. It's very, very important because you might just start the post and then get to the end and realize, oh, well, I didn't know that. <laughs> and that's happened a lot. So. This tutorial is really gonna help you um, see exactly how um, to avoid that, you know, and also see the dynamics of posting on Facebook and Instagram. So you might wanna wait till the end to be able to see all that. Now, the thing to really, really consider when you've logged on here, right? The first thing as you notice we did was we hit create a post. So I'll go back again so you can see this is what I hit, this is what I tapped on, create a post. Okay, once you create a post, you see it says post to BizCrown Media. If you hit the drop down menu here, you'll see it lists Instagram. So if I check this also, that means my post will go to Instagram, but we're gonna cool off on that right now. We're just not gonna do that. Now under media, you get to share photos or a video. Instagram posts can't exceed 10 photos. So here you can add a photo, whether from your desktop, you can upload it or from your file manager. You can also add a video from your desktop or from your file manager. You can actually create a video from an image, which I really think it's cool. You'd upload it and then, <clears throat> excuse me, you'd upload it. Uh oh, sorry, I'm going back there. You would um, create the video, you'd upload the video, and then it would actually create an image from that. Okay. Now, another cool thing is you could actually use a Vimeo template. If you're not familiar with Vimeo, um, you could go read about them. They've been out there. Um, they're sort of like a video company similar to YouTube because um, they've been there for a while, but they um, have templates that you could use um, that uh, Facebook has sort of incorporated into their platform. Okay, so now in here, Everything you do over here is gonna show up to the right here. This is your Facebook feed preview, so a lot of things that you do are gonna show up right here. But what I want you to really look at and what I want you to first consider are all the things over here because everything you do here and here affects the things over here. So depending on what exactly your strategy is, you might just want to know exactly what you're going to be using here because again everything you put up there affects the things here so and i'll show you that in a few okay so let's go here actually um and you can see this shows, shows feeling share an emoji that shows how you are feeling and so if you click that you have all the emojis that show happy loved sad lovely thankful you know all the emojis so let's just click excited and i'll leave that there now you also have a location so let's just pick here, BizCrown Media, for our location, and I think it's down here, and then we save. Okay, and then um, to add get messages, remove the feeling activity. You see that? So if we wanted to add messages, we would have to remove the feeling activity. And now to create an A and B test, this is an A and B test, um, and this is how you could test different content to see which one works. You would have to also remove the feeling activity. Right, and then now, good thing is you can add a link, right? And then if you click more, you could tag a brand, at least that's what you can't see over here. But you see how clicking these affect these. That's why I say you wanna know exactly where you're posting and know exactly where you're gonna use. So we're gonna take off the feeling excited. And now that we do that, when we click message, add a button to your post, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, that allows people, uh oh, to message you directly so you could see here so it changes it because we've picked messaging it changes it and it's using the cover photo see how that's totally different okay um uh to create an a and b test i think we can't do that now um and the link and all that because we have decided we want to do a message so i am just going to take that off but if you wanted to get messages that's how you do it just wanted you to know that 
Okay, now is in BizCrown Media. I'm going to take that off. Now I'm going to show you A and B tests. Again, we haven't created the post, but I just want you to know these things so you know exactly what you're doing before you do the post. That's why you're on Meta Business Suite. So you can create different versions here, A and B test. And once you create it, puts it out there, and then you could actually find out which one's working well. So let's say you wanted to create an ad and wanted to determine what content would be good for the ad. You could do an A and B. And if you see which the if you see that people are responding more to um, to B, then you could turn B into an ad. But that's just a tip right there. So that's why I say you want to consider all these things over here. Now think, I'm sorry, look over here. You could publish now. Uh, you could schedule, uh, which will show you, because if you schedule, it could go to a later date, which is really, really cool. And you could save it as a draft if you want to just come back to your post. So, but now we are going to make, create our post here and I'm going to uh, paste um, our stuff over here. So here is our link. Um, and see, once you, if you put a link in, you see the link, because it's a Facebook page, it will be hyperlinked. Um, because this is going on a Facebook page. So this is the Facebook preview. One thing to note is once I add Instagram in here, that changes. You can see that completely changes. Why? Because Instagram will always require that you add a picture. So you notice here, I can't click schedule. Instagram posts must include media, but a post can't have both media and a link. If you'd like to use the link preview feature, please just deselect Instagram placement. So just wanted you to really really note that okay so now we are going to add a photo and let's create this post now we're going to upload this from our desktop here and then we pick our image because we're going to post an image here now okay so i am now going to actually take this off so that i could post the content that we want to post so i'm going to go into our ai tool here to grab the content we want and then go back here and paste it okay now uh we can see what's going on here <clears throat> we now have our post to the left and again you get to see the facebook preview to the right and if you wanted to see the instagram feed preview you would click that too and you could see the instagram feed preview right there okay now i'm going to scroll up now see um you get to um, add more photos if you wanted it <clears throat> excuse me and you get to um, tag people. If you wanted to tag people, you get to do that. If you want to delete the post, you get to do that. If you wanted to filter um, and crop the image and add stickers to the image and all text to the image and change the size of the image, these are all the places where you could do it. As you can see, you can edit here. So that's one of the things that's cool, again, with Meta Business Suite. Okay, so now we have our Instagram feed, we have our Facebook preview. And as you can see, when we go here, we are limited, we are limited with the things we wanted. So imagine if we had said, hey, remember, uh, if we imagine we've said when you're posting this, make sure you click the feeling the excited feeling, include the link, include all that stuff. And then what would you what, what are you going to get? <laughs> you won't be able to do it. So it's kind of sort of important to know what your strategy is again, uh, going into this, but at least even if you get here, you can make changes and tweaks and whatnot. Okay, so this says May 11th, and uh, we're just going to put it to May 12th over here um, and schedule it out. The reason is it's 1.20 here, and it's 1.38 p.m., and that's just way too soon, okay? that's I think that's, that's why we couldn't do that. Now, if we did May 11th here, we could still do 2.38, and you see that? that would still totally totally be fine but that's if we wanted to schedule it out you know if we didn't want to schedule it out we would go to the publish now <clears throat> sorry excuse me go to the publish now button and then click publish now but this way we can then schedule it now just to review it real quick what we would then do again is go over here and make sure that bizcrown media on facebook is select the facebook page is selected and so also is the Instagram page. They're both selected. And now, do we want to add more images? We can. Do we want to edit our image? We can, if we do. And um, we have our text here. Everything looks good. You can see to the right here. And all we then have to do, we've created our post here. All we have to then do now is, based on all the dynamics, and sorry, 
I do want to add, if you wanted to add hashtags, again, really, really cool. So you can actually go in here and pick the hashtags that you want, and you could also search, you know, um, for hashtags. So as you can see, that's AI a lot. So if we wanted to do that, we could add that. But it's already here, so we don't need to. So just saying, if you did want to add hashtags, you can. And just to show you how it would work, let's see if AI content is here. If we did this and add one, see where it goes. It goes right here to AI content. So I'm going to take that out. So that's what happens once you add the hashtag. Now we are done. Again, we can either hit click publish now or we can schedule this for later, which is what we're going to do. So you can see exactly how it is once we have scheduled it. So I'm now I'm going to click schedule. And you see it's scheduling your post. It does ask if you want to boost it, but we aren't doing this now. We'll just say maybe later. And now we're going to go to Friday on our planner. This is our planner, which is really cool. Once you schedule out a post, it'll take you to the planner to go see exactly what's going on. So as you can see, we planned this for 418 p.m amongst a bunch of others that we've used in our tutorials. <laughs> but the Instagram one we planned for Friday at 138 and it's over here. And now just to show you if I've if I've just gone here and go, oh my God, you know, sorry, excuse me, we've already done this. We um we don't need to do we don't need to post this anymore because we have that post there. All I have to just do is click delete post because I don't want dupes out there. So I'll go here again excuse me, and then I could do this also, and then click delete post, delete post, and now I know I'm not duping over here, and then it's going to Instagram over there. So that's how, that's simply how you can create a post on Meta Business Suite to go to Facebook, to go to Instagram, and to make your life a lot easier because you don't have to just go to Facebook to create your posts, you just don't have to go to Instagram to create your posts. At the same time, all you have to do is just go to Meta Business Suite to be able to do that. Hopefully this was helpful. If it is, like the video. And if you do want to see great content, helpful content that'll make your life easier, subscribe to our channel. Take care.